Hello! That was a weird way to say it. Hi guys! It is time to get into what I would consider the next level, and that is verbs. And why do I say that? Because verbs are probably one of the most changed things in Tree Get a Slang. It's not that bad, trust me. But you may want to cry just a little bit, but we are here together. So today we're gonna use juice drain, juice down. It means blood, blah, blah, blah. blood must have blood. So we can conclude that blood is juice, you know, like, I draw a juice carton? Mmm, juice from your body. So blood is juice, so this goes with that. And you know, you might think, okay, well so far all our words have kind of matched up with the English and the Trigeta slang, so maybe must is drain, have is down. Blood must blood have, which, you know, sounds quite poetic, but no, they've tricked us. Actually, these two is a single verb. Drain down means to drink. So what it actually means is blood drinks blood. Very poetic. This is where it gets weird. Because verbs in Trigeta slang have the verb, like kind of like the root, and then it has its own satellite. Okay, so drain is the verb and the down is the satellite. You can kind of think of it like in your class, there are three people named Jessica. Hello, Jessica. And to differentiate between them, they all have different last names, like whatever their last names are, like L, M, and P. So you know them as Jessica L, Jessica M, and Jessica P. The satellite is the verb's last name. Okay? We have verbs like hold in. Okay, and hold in means to love. Aww. I have read for this too. Hold on. But we also have verbs like hold up, which means to wait. Now, if you didn't have the satellite, like, you wouldn't know which one we're talking about, which is why they're important. So how do they work? Let's take hold in. If you wanted to say, I love you, aww, first of all, you do the I, okay? Then you say hold, and this, this is the fun part. You put the direct object, which is this, the thing that you are loving in between the word and its satellite. So it's I hold you in, right? So here's the verb like this and your direct object goes in between because that indicates what you're loving. So if I put it more in a diagram form, direct object, satellite, okay? So there are some verbs that you don't necessarily need a direct object, um, like hold up, you know, like if you just yelled at someone, hold up, you know, that's just, just, just commanding someone to wait, right? Let's do a couple examples, get you used to the idea of having a satellite. So let's go back to juice drain, juice down, with drain down being to drink, and juice being the direct object, right? You see how that is? So it's that's why it's blood drinks blood. I mean, if you really wanted to like literally translate blood must have blood, I guess you could probably say like juice soda gotta juice in. That just doesn't sound as great to me. I don't know about you. I thought Juice Strangers Down is very concise. It's easily chantable in times of war. We've learned so much. Now you can say, I like pinky. I stay cool, because I am. And um, I teach you all. 
teach op together means to teach. And with the U in the middle, it means I teach you. So now we can make a whole story. Um, uh, Pauna, our favorite friend, Pauna, stay amazing. M charge steak up. Do gorillas eat meat? M charge tree up. It eats trees. <laughs> It does. I like Pauna Lucot. I am Gorilla's friend. Ah, uh, it's a note here so that you guys remember. This is friend and it comes from look out. And then another note down here, charge up which is right here means to eat from charge up we made the best story ever i don't know about you but i like it so thanks for watching you guys i'm pinky from slack crew and i hope you stick around for more of these ridiculous videos that i make now go out there and describe yourself, and introduce yourself, and tell people what you like to eat, and that you love Pauna.